FCL is investing in a sustainable future by developing air filtration, by investing in new equipment. This means air filtration that will actually last much longer. By lasting longer, it reduces waste and means less frequency of change. So that gives the best possible solution to the customer. The IRT programme is a great opportunity for applicants to not only gain a national standard award of education, but also to gain experience along the way. Safety is always a priority when Canore Brems products are designed. To ensure the products are well maintained in service, it's essential that there is good diagnostics and good fault finding. We use the bus skills to benchmark where technicians are strong and also identify where they could use some additional training or maybe more tailored courses. We're trying to focus more on practical courses and we find that helps people retain the knowledge a lot better. And we're also looking to expand our e-learning so technicians who have maybe been on courses more recently, they can just get the updates without needing to come a long way to, to get this training again and cover lots of things they've already done in the past. So at Imperial Engineering, we work with all the major bus operators. The biggest change we've seen in the recent years is the introduction of hybrid and electric vehicles. One of the main differences on those, they all have electric driven compressors. These compressors in a lot of cases are giving short life. We're working with all the OEM manufacturers to improve that, learning ourselves and helping the industry with training. This is my 11th year in the Skills Challenge and as we're aware there is a massive shortage of skilled engineers in the bus industry so encouraging apprentices particularly and upskilling all the current engineers to help them maintain the new vehicles is a big help to the industry. Freeway acts as a central hub for, for data for all of the uh, assets. It also provides a, a digital solution for workshops that allows data to be mined at source which is far more efficient and effective. Clearly we're very keen on this initiative. We see it as something that we really want to promote. It's all about the investment in training and skills and we're very pro of that investment and we're also very pleased to see it shining a spotlight on the engineering teams who play such a crucial role for the industry.